So, before I play this clip, um, I want to get my position on these characters. We got characters here. Uh, we got some characters. Um, so, my opinion on Tucker Carlson, not good. Not good. Actually, I would go as far as to say, to be honest with you, um, Tucker Carlson, my opinion on this guy. No good, really bad for you. In general, uh, just not a, not a great person. Um, Christian Smalls, uh, the president of the Amazon Labor uh, Union, uh, which at this moment is trying to, uh, you know, orchestrate unions in Amazon uh, places all across the country. Uh, generally, I think he's okay. My opinion is that, um, you know, we can go, we can, you know, we can talk about this for a while. Generally, I think he's okay. I think a lot of people around him in his ear are bad actors. I think that uh, Breaking Points, specifically, trying very hard to stoke unnecessary drama. Um, now... A lot of people have a lot of opinions on this clip. I have not seen it yet. So some people say he was trashing AOC. Some people say he did a good job deflecting from AOC. But I haven't seen it yet. So I want to see how this goes. Now, my opinion, I don't think that you should be canceled or, or it's necessarily a bad deal to go on Fox or to go on Tucker. Uh, it depends how you maneuver. I think sometimes a lot of people go on Fox and they do a good job. You know, if you're going on Fox and you're agreeing with what they have to say, that's a problem. If you go on Fox and you say, no, bitch, here's how it is, that's good. Um, now, also, once again, we need to understand what the mission of Christian Smalls is, right? The mission is to unionize Amazon workplaces all across the country. Um, and a lot of people, unfortunately, who work at Amazon are Republicans. A lot of people that work at Amazon are fucking stupid. A lot of Americans are fucking stupid. There's a lot of Republicans. In order to be a Republican, you have to be a moron, right? But I also firmly believe that you have to meet people where they are. And so, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to be as fair as I possibly can. Um, and so, you know, let's just check this out. Let's see. Is this a net positive or a net negative? <laughs> Let's find out. Sandy Cortez spends a lot of time telling you that she's on the side of the worker. She's like a modern wobbly. She's the Walter Ruther of our day. And that's why last year she vowed to stand alongside striking workers at Amazon Staten Island Warehouse. And we're for that because they need the help. But at the last minute, Sandy Cortez bailed on the whole thing. And that infuriated labor organizers who just want a big vote to unionize at the Staten Island facility. Now, Amazon is stepping up its effort to crush the union. Amazon has just banned words like union on <laughs> its employee chat app. Christian Smalls is... So to be clear, just minor fact check, there is no actual chat app yet to my understanding. The article uh, that he's referring to is a proposed chat app. That being said, starting that... Now again, this is Fox News we're on here, right? Okay. So starting this segment about trashing AOC... What... But then following it up with trashing Amazon and being pro-union? Huh? Like, again, this is so ideologically incoherent, right? And so you need to understand, in the eyes of the owners of Fox News, in the eyes of Tucker Carlson, because Tucker Carlson has no original thought. He is a mouthpiece for the owners of Fox News. He is a mouthpiece for the owners of this country, right? In their mind, trashing AOC, they view that as a net positive, so much so that they're willing to embrace unions as a way to trash AOC because they think that trashing AOC will result in more people being anti-left, then maybe you can signal that unions aren't terrible. Maybe you can signal that unions aren't the worst thing in the world and sometimes they're good if it means you can trash AOC because they, they know that the audience associates AOC with the left. Right, now that said, is that a correct calculation? Have they correctly calculated that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's actually very possible that this is a miscalculation by the owners of this country and that letting the cat out of the bag on unions will lead to a broader left-wing movement, right? It's possible. But anyway, let's keep going.
the union leader at Amazon, and we're happy to have him join us now. Christian, thanks so much for coming on. Um, so you. were you surprised? So I just want to, real quick, is he wearing an eat the rich? Is that what this is supposed to say? I'm assuming it says eat the rich. If so, based, I'm in. Guys, that Sandy Cortez, Alexandria Casio cortez who has said repeatedly that she's on the side of the worker against the corporation, wasn't standing with you at the barricades. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it wasn't just her. It was uh, all of them, pretty much. You know, it's yeah, not fair. You know, um, yeah. I don't want it to make it just be between us and AOC because, uh, you know, a lot of them didn't show up. And, um, you know, once again, we we have no ill will against them. We we know that whether they showed, or showed up or not, they didn't make or break our election. We just had to continue to organize. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's a weird moment because, I mean, I'm on the right. I've never been particularly pro-union, but it does seem like Amazon needs some counterbalance. Like, it's this huge company. The workers have no power, and maybe we could, I don't know, share a little power with the people who work there. So uh, that's my view anyway. So t tell us where you are in your organizing efforts. So again, the, I, the case study QB is doing some minor edits. I'm not sure what they're editing around. It might just be for, like, dead air time or something. Um, I must say, so far, like, I think this is a big shift in tone that Chris Smalls had when he was going on uh, shows before the election, right? He was, he did a lot, he said a lot of things that I thought were cringy about how, like, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. My opinion, I think he's on a better trajectory. I think he has realized that trashing AOC is not the way <laughs> to do anything. Um, and so I appreciate that he's deflecting this. And again, Tucker even saying he's pro-union. Now again, who knows what the mis- if this is a miscalculation, who knows if people might eventually be pro-union, but so anti-woke left or whatever. Who knows what kind of- there's a- you know, it's impossible to know. I don't think any interview is going to have, like, some big effect in such a way. But so far, I am not- I am not displeased. Well, right now, you know, we're fighting for a contract. Um, you know, Amazon's disputing their election re results. Um, so we're, we're in, uh, walking and chewing bubblegum at the same time. We're fighting for a contract. We're preparing for another election in two weeks on April 25th. We're going to be voting at a second location directly across the building that we just unionized. So um, we're, we're in the thick of a fight right now, you know, a legal battle. And, um, you know, we just have to stay grounded and uh, pretty much uh, begin our campaign all over again. You'd think that Amazon would be open to a union, wouldn't you? It's a very progressive company. Why do you think they're... Tr now, I, like... Like, now, I, I, anyone who thinks that Amazon is a progressive company, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> like, I mean, my God, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Trying to thwart you from organizing. Amazon hasn't been unionized in this country since the, the beginning of its uh, existence, and they're very anti-union. You know, yeah. they want they created a system that hires and fire people. They created a system that they have full control of the working the working people, and um, you know, having a union obviously brings representation for the workers that benefit the workers at the bottom, like myself, uh, hourly associates, entry level workers that don't get the, the right to negotiate. So forming a union gives us the right to collect a bargain with the company, form a contract to protect ourselves. So that's exactly what we're trying so to- So just to be very clear, if you ask the average Fox News viewer what a union is, I, do n I would expect you to not be able to get any actual answer out of them. It's so like asking a Fox News viewer what CRT is. So, I think it's pretty awesome that Chris is able to go on here and just give a definition of what a union is. I think that that's cool. To do with the Amazon labor union, um, we're hoping that we'll be a catalyst for something that'll take place nationwide. Well, I, I certainly am rooting for you. I mean, maybe if they throw some more woke slogans at you, you'll forget you can't feed your family. <laughs> Right. Chris, I appreciate your coming on. Thank you very much. <laughs> what? You. What? 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 No, I'm sorry. What? And why? Well, I, I certainly am rooting for you. I mean, maybe if they throw some more woke slogans at you, you'll forget you can't feed your family. <laughs> right. Chris, I appreciate your coming on. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Like, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe if they throw some more woke slogans at you, you'll forget you can't feed your family. <laughs> 
right. Christian, I appreciate your coming on. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Okay. I mean, okay, my opinion, my opinion, I think this is overall nothing to get too upset about. My opinion, I think it's pretty good. If the goal is to unionize Amazon, that's good. Now, once again, the main problem here is who is in these people's ears? Who like who is in the ears of these unions, right? Because my problem, right, is a lot of the times, right, you'll see again, right? How does uh what is exactly fascism? Well, it's let's get all the stuff for us and by us we mean, you know, the best group. Right? So Look at, other, like, there's a lot of examples of unions not being so good in regards to things, uh, you know, like transphobia, homophobia, racism. Look at police unions as another example, right? So unions are not always good. Now, they are mostly good. They are mostly good, right? Um, but we need to make sure, like, the wedge that's being driven here by Tucker Carlson is he's trying to drive a wedge between AOC and unions. Why? Well, because unions, again, this could be a right-wing miscalculation, right? But unions typically are associated with the left. So if right-wingers are going to try to co-opt unions, that could potentially be a very big problem because if unions start becoming super right-wing in how they, exp you know, there's a lot of examples of unions not doing everything that they can or anything at all about transphobia in the workplace, homophobia in the workplace, racism in the workplace. And that's a problem, right? So we need to improve unions. We need to make sure that unions are good institutions. Um, overall, I like that Chris Smalls said he didn't want to talk about AOC and gave like a full definition of what a union is. I think that that's good. I think that that's good. Um, but also... I'm a little worried about going on Tucker Carlson, right? Like, I like it's just like a Tucker has an agenda and he has all the money behind the agenda, right? So it's like, you know, what is the net positive here? Like, okay, let's say right-wingers are more likely to unionize. Well, if they're more likely to unionize, but they still hate gay or trans people, does that really help anyone at the end of the day? Does it really deep now? Now maybe it's possible that they can get into unionizing, and then maybe in these individual unions they could be de-radicalized from that kind of stuff, and that's good, and we need to promote that. So I don't know. I don't think you can make any kind of like grandiose statement from an interview like this. I think it's okay. I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, I'm very concerned about who is in uh, the ear of Chris Smalls, uh, especially after the the crystal ball thing. I think that that's, you know. I understand the idea of wanting to take whatever help you can get, and I understand that not everyone's going to have all the time to see, like, how the media machinations go. Um, so, but, you know, again, I would say there's, it's impossible to really, you know, to say if this is going to swing a needle in any way. I think 99% of the time doing media um, is good after you win. Right, and so the idea here is that Chris Smalls is being the avatar to go on the victory tour uh, for the Amazon Union, and so that is good. You want to go on a victory tour, going on Tucker maybe not the best idea, but we'll see. I don't know. Like my thing is again, if if your next goal is to unionize in New York, is Tucker really going to help you unionize in in New York? Probably not, right? But if you're going to try to unionize in a lot of red states, like if that if that is the section that you're at, and you're trying to appeal to red state voters, that could be good. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I think overall, Chris Smalls, I think as long as he continues to do good unionizing stuff, I'm in favor of him, but I'm very concerned about the people that are uh, kind of trying to drive this wedge between Amazon, labor, and AOC, because at the end of the day, it one, it's a distracting conversation, Right? The idea that you're trying to bring up AOC and it, it's just, it, it's trying to, it's like a, it's pitting the left against itself. It's a stupid conversation, right? So, and again, Chris Smalls, when Amazon initially got their vote, 
had some very, very bizarre things to say about AOC that was distracting from a lot of things. And there was a lot of people in the media that tried to start this wedge. It does not need to be a wedge. There does not need to be any combat or attacks from both sides. It's an irrelevant thing. What we need is overall solidarity on the left. That's important. And so I think it's good that he went against the narrative of just talking about AOC and instead wanted to just describe what unions are and why they're good. Um, could he have done better? Sure. But in my opinion, I think Chris Smalls is on a good trajectory compared to what I was seeing uh, several weeks ago. But again, also, we need to understand, I'm not running a union. I'm not trying to win a union, right? So we have different experience um, as well. I don't know. It's possible that they have, you know, maybe the union that they're trying to do in New York, maybe there's a good section of them that are right-wingers that watch Fox News. And this is, it's possible. I don't know all the details. Um, but, you know, I'm very skeptical of anyone who's trying to drive this, this wedge between the labor union and AOC. I think it's stupid. I think overall it's just anti-left garbage. Um, and so I want to focus on that unions are good, but also we cannot let unions fall into the prey, uh, fall prey into the hands of right wingers because we see what happens in things like police unions when right wingers unionize, right? So that's an important thing. Unions are one of, if not the best vehicle for bringing left-wing ideas to the mainstream, but also we have to understand whenever left-wing ideas are brought to the mainstream, right-wingers are going to see that and they're going to try to co-opt those ideas. So, uh, you know, got to make sure that that doesn't happen. Some would say, I've heard the argument that, you know, the idea that AOC didn't, publicize the union drive actually help the union i've heard this idea that uh because aoc has like is basically a lightning rod for far-right attacks and media frenzies right that aoc stepping out of that fight is what allowed them to go under the radar amazon just assumed that they would lose so maybe if AOC were to have done big fundraising events, Amazon would have been like, oh shit, okay, well, now let's put more money into union busting. It's possible, right? It's possible that not all media is good media. It's possible. I don't know. In my opinion, it's, it's very difficult to navigate this because this is such a unique scenario we've never seen in this country, at least in any of our lifetimes. Like the Starbucks union, for example. Big wins all across the country. Right now, the Amazon union, one big win. Let's hope it's not like a one and done scenario, right? Because now that we've generated all this big media frenzy, right? And what if they lose their second drive? That could be a problem, right? So I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of arguments. I don't know where I, I land on it. Overall, I would say, you know, probably not the best idea to go on Tucker Carlson's show unless you're going to be combative to his garbage of calling Amazon progressive. I think that that's just ludicrous. Um, but also, is Chris Smalls like a professional media person? I think it's very obvious he's not. I, don't, I think it's very obvious he is not like well-trained on how to manage media environments. So I'm willing to give him a little slack. I want to see how the Amazon union goes. I'm supportive of the union. Um, I'm very unsupportive of a lot of the wedge being wedges being driven uh, in media, I think a lot of left media is doing a horrible job, horrible job covering this. So I'm going to try to bring in the nuance where it's necessary. And so there you go. I don't know. That's the take.